the idea for today's video is to fill two pages of this sketchbook by using a mixed media uh, abstract art and style. The idea is to do like one page based on acrylic plus something and one page based on watercolor. So you can also see the difference based on the background you use. Let me quickly show you what I have here on the table. I have my acrylics right on this side. We have a big box of acrylics. Then here I have my water jar. I have my mixing palette and just some scrap fabric to clean my brushes. Here I have a few different type of brushes. I have my oil pastel, my gouache. This is my watercolor palette on this side. And this is two boxes are filled with all the rest, all the miscellaneous. So we have some marker here and we have a pens, fine liner, um, graphite stick, ink, a bit of everything else right here. The sketchbook I'm using is from Royal Talents Art Creation. This is just a tiny little sketchbook of 4.7 by 4.7. It's a mixed media on the lightweight sketchbook. I already used the watercolor in it and it holds up pretty well with mixed media with some little buckling, but this doesn't bother me. It's a good affordable solution for practice your mixed media. I selected a little color palette I would like to get started with and I'm going on the green brown tone. And here I have Talu Green, Blue Shade, Raw Amber, Burnt Sienna and a Yellow Ocre. But here on the side I also put a Olive Green and this Indian Red that I really really love. This color is amazing. And I may go and grab those one as well, but let's see. Okay, I think I want to start with my lighter color and just placing some color here and there without too much thinking. I do want this uh, beautiful ochre to uh, come through my painting. But it's not going to be the the main color and then I'm going with some green it's quite bright so I'll just splash it here and there my favorite green is like a dark moody muddy green but for mixed media Having this color that are going to just transpire a little bit, it's actually nice. It's enjoyable. And now I'm going with the some raw amber. Also nice contrast if it's quite well in here. I like my choice so far, but let's see how we can build on it maybe you're gonna need some more raw amber let me see i'm using just some touch of burnt sienna sorry if this clip is making a bit of a noise i think i'm quite satisfied with my acrylic background now I'm going to choose my next tool and make some mark on it. I'm going to start mark making with this graph cube from Karandash just to release of any pressure of taking things perfect from the beginning. It may be good, it may be not, but we don't want to work with the pressure. So I'll just do a little bit of mark making 
and I want to add a little bit of uh, oil pastel and these are the colors that I chose uh, don't have the name in it but there is a just a number 171 283 and 107 this is an interesting color it's very pastel like and I'm not sure I'm gonna like it so I am testing it first so eventually I can cover it up it's not bad I actually like it I'm gonna put on this side as well I want to lighten up the edges I love the combination uh, acrylic oil pastel I think it's really working well I like it okay just to have some interesting mark in there also this green is uh, very bright so I don't mind to cover it up okay to cut this chanographic pencil I never try if they work on top of oil pastel so yeah that's first I tried on top on a uh, watercolor and that was okay. It works on acrylic, but oil pastel is uh, not doing it. Good to know. Still is making some interesting mark that I like. Oops. Oops, sorry guys. I don't know if I should add some proper white. I may add that one in the end. I have this gold acrylic marker. I want to create some dot. Like crossing here through the center. I am building layer as I go so I really didn't have a plan originally and this is a bit of the beauty of abstract art you get inspired by something or someone a color an object and you go from there yeah I think it's yes I'm happy with that and I want to try to you see this Japan I'm not sure it's gonna it's going to do anything but even if I get just a little bit of of a mark this is not really doing it it's difficult to layer on top of oil pastel But we can try something else. I do have this silver. Let's see if this is doing something. Something. Not much. <laughs> They are a bit smelly these from Spectrum Noir I have to say. Okay. This from Delarani seems to be working better. I'm going with this uh, Winsor & Newton gold ink. I thought I would use the white one but I changed my mind. I want to keep it um, on the gold side, I think. And let's see if we can keep it as close as possible. 
and just have some splashing here and there. I honestly don't mind if it goes in the other page because it's like you work already with some mark on the page, which actually it's an advantage. You start having already something. This is how our first one looks. It's moody but shiny, so there is a lovely contrast to it. And I really like the result. But now let's get to our uh, watercolor. And here I have my palette. And I think I'm going to maintain more or less the same. color selection so we can have a better um, idea of transparency and such. So I'm going to use this beautiful Periling Green from Daniel Smith. Nice dark moody green and we have already some mark making in there which I really don't mind as you can see just a little bit of the color really went a long way and I want to would like to have as well a, a little bit of this Schmincke super granulated uh, desert green color I don't know it's going to do anything in here but it's uh, a nice darker green brownish color so I quite like that okay I think I would like to have some contrast at this point and we can add I will add the same so I will add this yellow for now this I think it's a real yellow from Jackson very intense bright yellow but I also would like to have a little bit of contrast I have this indigo from Rosa Gallery uh, you see it's really dark and it's beautiful this Indian red really really speaks to me and I know I will regret it if I don't introduce it in my heart today and so I found a piece of paper thick paper and I'm just going to lightly put some color in it and I'm trying not to push you guys too much, but the tripod is sort of on my way. It does create some interesting texture there. And I think I want to do also on the other side. Okay, not the best result. I think from next time I will start to work with washi tape just to make sure I don't go on the area where I don't want to go. But it's really lovely contrast and mark making. I love this red. I'm going to be doing some quick mark making with these two colors from Carandash Luminance. I have a Indian yellow and I think it's a russet, this one. And let's see what we are getting. It's not completely dried my acrylic, but I am not a person that enjoys the drying time so I tend to just 
keep working on it and hoping for the best. <laughs> Okay, I also would like to add this uh, bronze color from New Color One of Karandash, and I would like something more defined for this one. Let me see. Not sure what what is that I have in mind. I want to try to use this black Posca pen and create lines if it's possible. I'll try to have final, finer lines as I possibly can, a different height. I'll work on it. This is a bullish shape, three milliliter millimeter Posca pen. In case you guys are interested in what I'm using exactly as a material. I really would like to know from you if you ever try to create a mixed media abstract in your life and how was your experience how did you feel about it I think I will do the same cross up or down I think I'll go down you can use everything you have by just thinking a little bit outside the box and that's something that really fascinated me because it's like every new painting, sketch, artwork is an adventure of its own. I'm, I'm learning always something, I'm discovering always something. So it's really, really interesting for me. Okay, I'm going back with the gold. This is from Spectrum Nar and is a 4mm flat tip. It's a very interesting nib. And also every gold I own has a sort of a different tone to it. So I like to use a different one. I'm not going completely flat. I'm just trying to have something interesting going on here that is crossing my artwork something more to look at that gives bright brightness interest yeah I love it actually it came out better than I thought Okay, and pretty. Okay, I'll try to go with the white. Should be working. Let's see. Um, I think I need to do this. Sometimes it's not about. What the painting needs is about what you need. Okay. And then I think I should be having something here. It's lacking something here. Oh, I think I can create a nice contrast. Okay, this time I'm going with this silver instead. And let's see 
what we can create. Okay, so those are the pieces we created today. This uh, first one is based on acrylic. We also start with some green brown color and then went on to add some gold and silver and that's what we came out with and this is based on watercolor as you see the background is much more transparent doesn't really fully filter through and we add a lot of silver in it as well and a bit of gold i really like this indian red that pop in the background is really nice so guys let me know in the comment which one you like more as always i appreciate if you click the like button just to let me know that you are there watching and if you're not part of the community and you love mixed media here we're doing a lot of mixed media we going from more realistic more loose to more abstract kind of artwork and yeah we like to try new supply all the time no new kind of layering and mark making and join the community by subscribing see you next time guys thank you for watching